Hey guys, uh, this is Badal Jamjoom with my partner Umar Farooq and uh, we are going to demonstrate our multi-tone multi alarm circuit. Uh, the circuit basically runs off two, two op amps, the MC1458 and the LM380. The 1458 is a special one because it has two op amps uh, and takes in a dual power supply. The two op amps inside the MC1458 are used to produce a square wave and a triangular wave. The LM380 over here, uh, which pushes out the sound for our 8 ohm speaker. Omar, can you please demonstrate the circuit for us? Sure. Uh, so, uh, the first op amp uh, inside the MC1458 is wired as an A-stable multivibrator and the second op amp inside that MC1458 chip is wired as an integrator and this will actually turn this uh, square wave that it's outputting into a triangle and they also both have a dual power supply which comes from our not two, four 9 volt batteries two of the 9 volt batteries are hooked up as uh, a positive 18 and two other are hooked up as a minus 18. So the first place that the output goes to is into um, the 10k resistors, uh, 10k, 39k and another 10k resistor which feeds into a capacitor and that actually turns into our first node for our switch and right off of uh, the 10k resistor there's another uh, node for our uh, our switch which makes two nodes uh, for our switch and there's another uh, ground node so our switch actually has three nodes ground first tone second tone and this actually feeds in the switch feeds into our uh, second capacitor which feeds into our LM380 uh, chip op amp uh, which acts as an audio amplifier which amplifies the sound into our speaker and all of this, uh, the tones basically, are managed by the potentiometer. It actually, uh, you can actually uh, modify the tone coming out of the uh, speaker through this potentiometer. And demonstrating this, let's uh, plug in the power supplies. We got one end, it's about positive 18, and we got a minus 18. So that is the first uh, tone. Now modifying it through the potentiometer, we would uh, change the tone, and the tone can get a little higher, lower, uh, however one you want. Time. One more time. And uh, just like any annoying alarm should be, this is quite annoying. Uh, we can also change, uh, like I said, the tones by switching uh, the off of the first node into the second node. So if we switch to a sec the second node here, this is the first node. This is ground where it's all quiet, no sound. First node where we heard that really annoying sound. Third node, which will give us a little deeper, um, a little deeper uh, sound. And uh, that's uh, basically our multi-tone alarm uh, circuit. And uh, if one of the modifications that we uh, wanted to make was add a SP3T switch uh, to uh, to this uh, circuit. Other than it being annoying, yeah, it's also than... stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> what this would have done was uh, make this uh, switching from each uh, node a lot easier which means we would have connected all three nodes into the switch and all we would have done was toggle the switch to change the tone which would have made it a lot easier now uh, this uh, circuit is actually very very good uh, the purpose for this circuit is very good for a siren an alarm clock security security uh, basically because if the t if the switch is uh, hit it switches to the first tone which mm -hmm. is very very high and it can also toggle between a very deep sound and very high sound. One of the things we wanted to add was the reason why we didn't solder this was because our MC1458 is a very, very, very small 
op amp. It has very, very small pins, and the only way we could get it soldered and get it working was to solder it to very, very, very skinny wires. Now, these wires uh, are very, very prone to interference, and they also... Uh, They're affected by, no uh, by noise? Uh, by noise and, and by uh, contact. So if you get your fingers very close to them, it actually affects the sound that we're hearing outside. Which causes um, noise. Yep. And one of the things that we didn't want to do was break the very, very sensitive solders that Soma was very nice to do for us. And um, if we had actually uh, tried to solder it um, to a PCB board, we didn't, want it we didn't want them breaking. And second of all, these little uh, wires have very, very small, uh, are very small in width, and um, soldering them would, would have been very, very difficult. Uh, so that's the reason we didn't want to solder this. Uh, because of a very, very small and sensitive uh, op amp that actually runs our whole thing because the output comes out of this instead of uh, the other op amp. Um, and what we wanted to do was just uh, run through uh, our demonstration one more time uh, of how the two tones uh, come out uh, of the two notes. So Bader's going to demonstrate that real quick. Okay, running it for the second time. Uh, uh, first, what we had to do is debug the circuit uh, to know what was going wrong. Um, we realized that it wasn't connecting and wasn't giving us the output we we really need, and we uh, we, reali we realized that the reason was because these uh, wires are so thin it was really easy for them to disconnect from the circuit, and uh, because it discon it it semi disconnected and uh, plus the noise made it very hard for the for the wires to connect and to give us the the deep output that we need. So connect. So what we did is we we kind of pressed on the on these thin wires so it can like uh, so we can make sure that it's it's connected and it can give us an accurate uh, accurate output like we need. So um, uh, now to run it for the second attempt, uh, first we're gonna plug into the first channel of the switch, which is this one, which is going to give us the. Uh, the sharp, the sharp output, the sharp sound, uh, and we got sound. And changing the potentiometer, mm -hmm. uh, the resistance around um, actually makes the tone a little clearer. Originally, we have the uh, to to put it in standard, uh, standard. Uh, Standard form. We have the. We usually have the potentiometer fixed on 22k, uh, but um, since we want to play around a little bit to have to have it higher or or lower or anything, we ju we just vary from the from the potenti potentiometer. And uh, now we want to change it to the to the other channel to the second channel, which is going to give us the deeper uh, to the deeper and higher sound pitch. And we have sound. Varying again from the potentiometer is going to to give us a lower or higher sound. Try the other way. Okay. Disconnecting it from the channel is disconnecting the circuit. And uh this demonstrate our second attempt, which is our best attempt so far in this circuit. So, in conclusion, uh, over uh, we can say overall, um, this this project helps helped us a lot to be more workers than just listeners, and uh, it really showed us application of circuits, and it uh, it helped us uh, get to to our goals. You know, like this is basically the first circuit I ever got to to work perfectly, hopefully perfectly, and um, I really hope we can keep up this uh, this good work. And special thanks to Dr. Uh, Natalia Pijoto um, uh, for giving us this opportunity, and special thanks to also Salma for helping us out in soldering and some theoretical, practical aspects of the project. And uh, thank you, thank you again.